Hey everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and you are watching the Exploring Oracle or the Exploracle for short. So if this is your first time here, what I usually do on this channel is I just show you a deck from my personal collection. And I show you all the cards, I talk about the card stock and all of those things. I do have timestamps down below if you're just interested in a particular part of this video. Feel free to click on the link. So today, today I'll be taking a look at this deck. I got this out. This is the Notorious JBG Tarot Mini. So this is by Julie of Peekaboo Rose. And it is using the license free art of Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And the, it doesn't come with a pouch. I got this from Make Playing Cards and I will be putting a link down below. So I just put it in a pouch and basically this is what it looks like. Now, um, so Jasmine Beckett Griffith released all of her art in the public domain and Judy from Peekaboo Rose picked her favorites and created this deck using Jasmine Beckett, JBG's art. And there are other decks using JBG's art already, but this one is a specially curated deck by by Judy to, to create this cute little tarot deck. Now these are the backs. They are not reversible. And it is and this linen cardstock which makes it easy to shuffle even though it is a smaller card size just so you can see this is how it is in comparison to a standard tire size so shorter and a little bit narrower so this deck doesn't come with a guidebook so uh, I think we, all we have to do is flip through the images so, uh, but yeah the cardstock is a really nice linen snaps back really well love it and let's zoom in and take a closer look all right so it is bordered this uh purple color numbered and the name of the card is on different parts of the uh, of the deck sometimes it's on the top sometimes it's at the, it's at the bottom um i usually prefer titles to be in the same area but i you know i don't really mind as long as it's readable and i think that really did a good job at picking the 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 right images <laughs> for this deck and um i know that not a lot of people like this aesthetic you know the doll like big eyes and um, it, some people find this creepy i'm okay with it i love this lover's card um, but it's also not a deck that I use a lot. I've read with this, I think, just a few times since I got it. Because I think that it has, or it, I have to be in a certain mood to, to like working with this deck. I do love this hermit, though. So, um... I'm not really sure if this actually would be something that I would keep long term because although it reads well for me and I do like the card size because I, I have smaller hands so smaller decks I love the linen finish I think the the choices made were are really good it's just that oh I love this death card uh it's just that I I don't read with it a lot and um I'm really trying to, to to be more mindful of the decks that I keep in the sense that I want the decks that I keep, even though I do have a lot of them, to be decks that I would be excited to work with. And this deck doesn't really excite me in a way that I know some people get excited about this type of art or this type of aesthetic. And I think when I bought it, I was in that kind of mood. But, uh, you know, I used it just a couple of times. If you are a fan of JPG's artwork, you will love this deck. I'm... It reads really well. Uh, it reads really well. It's like a... Um, pretty much like an RWS. <laughs> It's not, I mean, you know what I mean, right? 
I mean, the images are very expressive. But the characteristic of this art is expressive. It's just... I know some others would be more excited about this and would use it a lot more than I would. So this is a deck is probably going to be leaving my collection soon. Or maybe not soon. It's just that I know I probably won't be keeping it for long. Or for the long for the long run. Or is that is that the right term? The Two of Cups, <laughs> looking back. <clears throat> so the Two of Cups here uh, kind of reminds me of Elphaba, but not really Galinda, or from Wicked. <laughs> but, yeah. Four of Cups, perfect Four of Cups. Feel free to slow down, speed up, or pause if you want to take a closer look at the cards. This Nine of Cups, though, I doesn't isn't as uh, for me. It doesn't resonate as much, or maybe it's just like she had so much she feels a little bit like overwhelmed with it all. And I think it's really because of the aesthetic of the faces of um, of JBG's art. It's really not like the happy, happy, smiley kind of images, so it would be hard to pick con like a contented face. <laughs> Sword suit on this is really good though. And oh, I forgot to mention, you do have some uh, choices. I, there were some as well. Oh, sorry, I wasn't able to highlight it, but you can choose like your three of swords. Uh, Whichever is more uh, appealing to you. I think also the lover's card, not sure. But yeah. I love the sword suit. And most most of the time, my favorite suit in the tarot is the sword suit. But especially in this deck, I think the art, the mood, the vibe lends its well, lends itself, lends itself really well on the sword suit. Like the page, you also have two of them. And lastly, for the pentacles. You also have um, two, three of pentacles cards. Like this one. Four of Pentacles. Really good. Five of Pentacles. Six. Seven. And then the courts. You have two pages again. So zooming out, I just want to show you how this deck shuffles. It shuffles really well, even though it's small. I can riffle it, I can bridge it, and it is slippery because it is a, a the coating, I guess, in the make playing cards deck makes it extra slippery. So just be careful about that because it is a smaller size. When you do the overhand. And it doesn't stick it's very slippery you can uh, like toss the cards all over the place which has happened to me so just be mindful of that let's see oh so we won't have a sample reading because we don't have a guidebook but yeah just want to show you it shuffles really well 
and just be mindful because it is a little bit slippery and we got the nine of swords but yes so this deck really love this deck card now i think let me move my crystal to the side now i think this deck um you can feel the the time that it took to sorry it's slipping all over the place let me just try and neaten up the piles but i think um there's a lot of time that uh was i think there was a lot of time used to pick the images to make this perfect jpg deck um i like the size i like the card stock i do love the art it's just that as a tarot i don't read with it much and i it doesn't resonate with me as much and i don't know if it's because i feel sometimes this is a little too young for me but yeah it's it's a vibe it's it, you know i i have to be in a certain mood mindset or something to read with it and i don't want i don't want it to to languish in my collection and it's just i know i know for a fact that there are some people who are interested in this deck already when they saw it um in my i think tarot hall before so i will be likely be homing this to anyone who would be interested all right so that has been the flip through of the notorious jbg tarot by julie created by julie from peekaboo rose i'll be linking her channel as well down below and the link to where i got this from thank you to julie for creating this deck and of course thank you to jasmine beckett griffith for releasing her art so that more people can enjoy it and create their own decks if they choose to so i hope this video was helpful don't forget to click on the like button and do consider subscribing to my channel. See you again next time. Bye!